Hello, welcome to the Maya Togo. This is Michael. So today I thought we'd start looking at some of these curve menu options. If I break this off, there are quite a few commands in the curves menu, all dealing with curves and different things you can do with nerves curves in Maya. So to get started, I thought first we'd look at duplicate surface curves. This is referring to actually taking a curve from a surface and duplicating it to use for some other function. So in order to do this, we first need a NURBS object. So let's go to Create, NURBS Primitives, and you can choose one of these. I'll just go with a sphere, for example. I'll scale this up. So a NURBS object is essentially made of curves. So any of these curves that are on the sphere, you can choose to duplicate and use for something else. I'm going to hide the grid. So we'll right click on the NURBS object, and you can choose Isoparm from the component selection. Isoparms are the curves that make up the surface or a surface curve. You can click and choose one of the visible curves that make up the wireframe of the sphere, or you can click and drag and specify a point on the sphere that's not marked by an isoparm. So it doesn't have to be one of the isoparms that are rendered here, one of these lines. You can choose any point along the surface of the sphere. So let's just say, for example, we're choosing this point right here. This dotted line represents the curve on the surface that I wish to duplicate. So with it selected, let me close this, but I go to the modeling menu, the curves menu, and then choose duplicate surface curve. Let's go into the settings here and we see what we have. Go to edit, reset. Very few settings are in here, but we have group with original as a checkbox, and then also visible surface isoparms, U, V, or both. Let's just use the default settings and go to curves, duplicate surface curves. So you see immediately a curve has been created that is separate from the sphere. I can grab the curve and move it and move it away from the sphere and it works just fine. Now this does have history. If you notice, if I select a sphere, the curve highlights purple or pink, indicating that there is a history connection here. If I rescale the nerves uh, sphere, you'll notice that the shape of that curve changes because it's still using that, that point on this sphere as the reference for the shape of the curve. So anything you do to reshape this sphere, that curve will also react in the same manner. And it will continue to do so until you choose to delete the curve's history. To do that, you go to Edit, Delete by Type History. And once you've deleted the history of the curve, you can then choose the sphere and scale it and change it, and it won't affect the curve anymore. So I'm going to undo all that stuff and I'll delete this curve. So now let's look at our options here and see what differences we can see. So the first option we have here is a checkbox for group with original. So again, let's choose an isoparm on the sphere. We can actually click and select this one if we wish. We'll turn on group with original and hit duplicate. So the curve gets created just like before. And we can still move it like before as well. However, you'll notice Whenever we select the original sphere, the curve is also selected. As we move the sphere around, the curve also moves around. If we open the outliner, you can see what has happened here is that the duplicated curve has been parented to the sphere. So now wherever the sphere goes, the duplicated curve will also move with it, like with a parent-child relationship. So this, the curve has been parented to the sphere with that checkbox turned on. Now, visible surface isoparms, U, V, or both. This option only works if you're going to duplicate all of the visible surface isoparms on an object. So you can duplicate only the isoparms going in the U direction, only the isoparms going in the V direction, or both. If we go edit, reset settings, it, the group with original option will uncheck, but both is the default setting. So with both selected, 
and I don't have a isoparm highlighted. I only have the I just have the entire object selected. Hit apply. And you see what happens is all of the the isoparms that were visible on the sphere get duplicated. Let me uh, select those curves. We can move them over here. You can see what happened. So literally all of the curves you see here that are visible isoparms, so this means visible surface isoparms, have been duplicated as individual curves like this. Now, if you have a specific isoparm selected, this option here does not take effect, and it only duplicates the selected isoparm or, or surface curve that you have selected. It only duplicates that one. If you have the entire object selected, then this visible surface isoparms setting becomes active. We'll move these over here to the side. So this is with U and V direction, both active, which is both right here, this setting. So if I select the sphere again, now let's just choose to duplicate surface isoparms in the V direction. Hit apply. You can see what happens here. Only the vertical curves were duplicated as opposed to all of them. And then you can imagine if I, press, if I choose the U direction and hit apply, only the curves in the U direction were duplicated, which were the horizontal ones. So choosing U, V, or both, when you have an object, a NURBS object selected, it will then duplicate those visible surface isoparms in that direction when you click apply. And again, they all have history. So changing the shape of the sphere will change the shape of those curves uh, whenever you do anything to them. If you select them all and go to Edit, Delete by Type History, you can then delete the sphere even, and these curves will not be affected. All right, I think that's pretty much the gist of the Curves Duplicate Surface Curves command. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about curves. We're going to be going over some more of the more common uh, curve functions in Maya soon, and I hope you stick around and watch them. Thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you later.